we will discuss today about the virtual switches so before we to discuss the virtual switches first we know physical switch so all of we have uh, the knowledge about the physical switch because all we have already learned about the uh, layer to switch layer to switch more or less the functions are same so actually physical switch means uh, it is a hardware device which connects the devices and enable the connection communication across the network and it has a physical port and physical link with the associated port which which uh, uh, switch and the other devices and virtual switch instead you can say that uh, it is using the total physical infrastructure of the physical switch but uh, it is like virtual machine it communicates with uh, each other the virtual machine acts as a kind of operating system that imitates uh, the dedicated hardware and um, there are virtual machines are there and uh, this record the creating virtual switches with the hypervisor hypervisor you know about the uh, already you have learned in, um, in virtualization papers in the last uh, semester so these are the uh, one virtual switch now if this if we compare with a physical switch and virtual switch then obviously virtual switch is, is more flexible uh, with compared to the physical switches because if server several uh, ports are needed in virtual switch so automatically you can edit it or modify and modify uh, on demand but in case of physical switches by contrast uh, you cannot do that and another thing is that virtual switch not only help the network traffic flows be intelligent the whenever virtual switch receives a data packet before distribution before sending it to the destination it reuse the data packet before forwarding and benefits uh, if you can say that the virtual switches have benefits as well as the virtual machines attached to them that they boost the security by leveraging the isolation control and contact inspection methods the, uh, uh, in the, uh, between the virtual machines and moreover with virtual switches network administration can control them with a hypervisor so additionally virtual switches can help with migration of virtual machines across the physical hosts next we will discuss about the pop up or a rack switch basically if you consider the um, picture you will see that the three racks are there and on each top of the rack there is a switch and these three switches they are connected to another switch that is called the aggregation switch and the servers in each rack they are directly connected to their local top of rack switch and each switch is connected to the aggregation switch so basically here you can minimize the cabling method cabling the advantages here are there the cabling com complexity is minimized amount of data cable is less required and uh, modularity to your architecture helps in modularity but the thing is that maintenance cost is quite high here in t1 and any unplanned expansion within a rack may be difficult to use in the tr approach uh, next is the end of rack switch so as you see the picture there are three racks are there and multiple servers are in each rack but uh, there is the aggregation switch also but if you see the picture you will see each server is connected only to its aggregation switch so automatically here number of uh, ports are more than the previous cables huge cables are used here so automatically in this way it is more or less costlier than the previous one 
so these are the end of cap switch next is the fabric extender fabric extender basically it is nothing but the port extender and uh, the fabric extender concept is described in the IEEE 802 1 QVH standard and in the fabric extender we have five components those are totally uh, main for uh, controlling the fabric extender operation first is the controlling the bridge the pedal switch next is the port extender next is the connector connecting the fx uh, uh, fabric extender to the controlling bridge through the internal fiber encapsulation encapsulation is required to transport the planes uh, from the extender to the bridge and control protocols that will manage or monitor the uh, fabric extender and basically four type of interfaces are used here as you see the host interface network interface logical interface and virtual interface and at last the aggregation and code switches as you know because you have learned about these three uh, code and distribution and access switch uh, in the last uh, semester in Cisco security paper that the top of the cloud data center is a code switch and that is connected its next level switch that is distribution layer switch and next level is access layer switch okay. thank you